This is the Weber Coloss. It is an half inch drive ratchet and also an hammer. You may be wondering why somebody would choose to design a ratchet that can be an hammer and having spoken to a couple of people they did tell me that in the past they have used a ratchet as an hammer. That is probably why Weber have designed this. Personally I'd use an hammer and a ratchet but if you can only carry one tool you can use this which is a ratchet and an hammer all in one tool. The Weber Coloss is not cheap, it's about £100 with the extension bar that comes with it. That makes it extremely expensive as a ratchet. I actually bought this to go in my toolbox at work. I thought it would be handy because I could use it on certain jobs, especially with the extension that goes in there. But unfortunately, because the head is so big, you can actually get it in a lot of places, rendering it useless on a lot of jobs. So if we take a close up of the head, you can see that it's got a striking face on each edge of the ratchet. It's also got a push through drive. So in order to reverse direction, you push the drive through to the other side of the ratchet. So there is no lever on it to go wrong. At the end there, you have an hole and in that hole you can put a centering spike for when you are aligning bolt holes. The extension also fits in the end of the ratchet. That simply pushes in there. Once it's in, you turn it 90 degrees until it locks. Once it's locked, that will not come out. Once you have inserted the handle, you are then left with a very long ratchet that can cope with up to 600 newton meters of torque. The only problem is when you need to separate the handle from the ratchet. It's not simply a case of twisting it and pulling it out. You actually need to use this little spiked tool that comes with it. So to remove it, you need to push the pointed part into the hole and then you need to twist the handle. Once you've done that, you can then withdraw it. The ratchet also comes with a rubber face plate, which can be put onto the striking face and that will protect any surface that you are hitting. The ratchet does have some uses. It can save you going through a breaker bar. You can simply insert the extension handle, but as I've already pointed out, it is difficult to remove that. If you compare the ratchet to a normal half inch drive ratchet, you can see that the core loss is considerably bigger. If we turn it that way, you can see that there is a considerable size difference. So if you're a construction worker and you can only carry one tool, I suppose this hammer may be useful. Personally, I'd rather use a separate hammer and a separate ratchet. The part that annoys me most is the fact that once you've inserted the actual extension bar, you can't remove it without the additional tool, which is rather annoying. I'm now going to take the ratchet on a job and I'm going to install a through bolt into a foot on a machine table. You'll be able to see the actual ratchet working. That is one of the few jobs where this ratchet is actually of any use because of the large size of the head. It's not really much good if you're working on vehicles and it's not really much good as a traditional hammer because it doesn't actually have the weight. Although it shouldn't break if you do use it as an hammer.